it seems like a lot of people ask me the same questions over and over and over in the comments on my fasting videos. So I decided to go ahead today and make a top 20 frequently asked questions that have to do with water fasting. These are just the, the top 20 that I found by going back through all of the different comments on my videos. And these questions are not in any particular order. I have not ranked them or anything like that. Question number one, what types of fasts are there? Dry fasting, you only take in air. You don't take in any liquid, any solids, zero calories for a length of time. Intermittent water fasting. Now this is 20 and four, 16 and eight, 23 and one, or OMAD. These types of water fasts are daily and every day you'll have at least a portion of the day you're allowed to eat. And then the rest of the day you'll be fasting. Extended fasting. Anything that's gonna run longer than 48 hours is considered an extended fast. It puts your body into an extended state of ketosis and activates autophagy, which is really great for healing certain things inside your body. Question two, can I work out and lift weights while I'm fasting? The answer is undisputedly yes. You can still lift weights. You can still do your cardio. You can still do your HIIT training if that's what you're into. I would only advise that you don't do too much heavy lifting. Now, when your body gets into a fasted state for an extended fast, you actually start to produce more growth hormone. So your body is going to try to save all that muscle from lifting. You just keep pumping it out and burning it up, you will notice that you do have uh, a little bit longer and slower recovery. So you'll have third day soreness instead of just second day for those of you that hit the gym on the regular. Can I drink coffee? Can I drink tea? Can I drink diet sodas while I'm fasting? Will it break my fast? First off, sometimes artificial sweeteners can break ketosis in certain people, not in everyone, each person's different. So I can't answer this as, as a end all be all, this is absolutely the answer type of scenario. However, if you're doing a dirty water fast, you can have tea, you can have coffee, you can have any of the zero calorie drinks that you'd like. Because if you're doing a dirty fast, you're not fasting for health, you're fasting for weight loss. And taking in zero calories, you're going to lose weight. Question number four, will I lose my hair if I do a water fast? Um, some people do actually experience hair loss and the level of severity varies greatly from one person to the next. I've been fasting for over three years and my hair loss is pretty much non-existent. I haven't noticed any hair loss. Uh, my daughter fasted for 40 days and didn't lose any hair, but it does happen. Now, why does it happen and can you plan to prevent it? Yes, the reason it happens is because the level of keratin in your body decreases and gets to a really low level. And that is what keeps the strength of your hair so it breaks off and falls out. You can supplement keratin with the rest of your electrolytes and prevent the hair loss from happening. Question number five, why are the first three days so hard? also known as how do you get past the first three days of hell? I really wish there was an easy way for me to tell you how to get through the first three days. I can only say plan ahead, plan to stay busy, build up a lot of stuff to keep your mind occupied those first three days because it gets way easier after. Um, now the reason it's tough the first three days is because the first day you still, your body is used to eating. So it craves at certain hours when it's used to being fed. The second day, your body is starting to spaz out a little bit and it's wondering why it's not being fed. So the second day is pretty hard. The third day is often the hardest, but by the end of the third day, your body has switched over and stopped looking for external sources of food and started to feed on its own fat. And that is the process known as ketosis. So make it through the first three and you're golden. Question six. This question comes to me in a lot of different forms. 
How much weight will I lose? How long will it take me to lose X number of pounds? I have a wedding in three weeks. Am I going to be able to lose this amount of weight using water fasting? There is no set in stone answer for this. Every person is different. The, the amount of weight you'll lose is dependent on A, how active your lifestyle is, and B, your individual metabolism. So you need to look up your RMR, use a calculator. I'll link one in, in the description. Uh, go ahead and figure out how many calories a day you're burning. For me, I wear a Fitbit so that I can track my active hours also and my active heart rate it helps me keep track of my weight loss rate. But on average, people lose between one half and one pound per day while water fasting. At my best, I was averaging two pounds a day loss, but I was also eight hours a day active in the heat. So burn a lot more calories. Obviously, you're going to lose more weight. Question seven. Is water fasting really safe? <laughs> okay, so for most people, that answer is yes. For all people, short-term fasting is healthy and can be. And this is your intermittent, your OMAD, where you're going to be eating once a day anyway, or somewhere around in there. That's healthy for anybody. Anybody can fast for a short length of time. Uh, extended fasting puts a little bit more stress on the body. And because of that, people with certain health conditions should not fast. It's not safe for them, but for the majority of people, yes, it's perfectly safe. Question number eight, Roger, how much water should I drink every day? This question is also very individual specific. For me, I can drink up to two gallons of water a day and not even think about it. Some people have trouble drinking a gallon of water a day. The only thing I can tell you is, during the first three days, drink when you're thirsty or you're hungry. After that, just drink when you're thirsty. Your body's gonna let you know when you need to take in more water. Just because it's a water fast doesn't mean you have to flood your body constantly. An average for most people is around a gallon a day, but that's not for everyone and you, my friend, are an individual. Question nine, how should I break my fast? Well, guys, ha, breaking your fast is dependent on A, what diet you want to transition into. Do you want to just go back to eating everything, normal food? Then that would be considered a calorie restriction standard diet. Are you wanting to transition into keto to maybe continue losing weight after your water fast? Then you would break your fast completely different than someone that's going to break going standard. Some people transition into paleo. So there's no real way for me to tell you specifically one answer for you break your fast this way. The only thing I can tell everyone is that your portion control should be small. I normally tell people to run half portions for the first three days after an extended fast of seven or longer. And you need to track your calorie intake very, very closely for the first couple of weeks after breaking a fast so that you don't overeat to compensate because you go a few days without food it's really easy to just overeat start grabbing cramming it all in you're going to blimp back up there's no reason to do that so just pay attention and stay focused the first couple of weeks after you break your fast question number 10 won't you lose all of your muscle mass if you water fast well to say that i've lost my muscle mass would be a lie three years i've been doing this so I can tell you, you will not lose your muscle mass. And one of the reasons for this is the increase in growth hormone, which I mentioned earlier in this video when we talked about should you still work out while you're fasting. You're going to keep your muscle as long as you use it. If your body deems something necessary, it will not get rid of it. It won't eat it no matter how hungry it is. That's why it saves your organs for last. Question number 11. What can I do to prevent the nausea and headaches that I get whenever I try to fast? This is not a problem for all people. For me particularly, I don't get nauseated and I don't have headaches when I fast. For those of you that do, it is most likely caused by an electrolyte imbalance. So you can just supplement electrolytes. Problem solved. 
Now this also works for the weakness that some people feel and it's rare, but it does happen. And I will go ahead and link to some electrolyte supplements right here in the description below. Question 12, help me, I can't sleep. How does fasting affect your sleep schedule? First off, you're going to have a lot more energy when you're fasting than you do when you're not. And the reason for this is very simple to understand. Normally, when you're not fasting, your body uses a lot of energy to process the food you're putting into it. If you're not putting food in, that energy still exists. So some people have trouble getting to sleep when you're fasting. If you want to prevent this, be more active. For me, I like to walk five or six hours every day and I sleep like a baby during a fast. So just stay active and don't stress about it too much. That energy level is going to stay heightened because it's normal and natural. One of my favorite questions, question number 13, does fasting make you hornier than average? Also known as why does fasting make my sex drive skyrocket? It's very simple to understand why this happens. Your body is into a healing while it's fasting. Because of that, you're healing up problems that normally exist when you're not fasting. And fasting has actually helped some guys with they had the uh, erectile dysfunction. So yes, you may end up hornier when you're water fasting. <laughs> and your sex drive is going to skyrocket because your body is getting healthier and a healthy body craves sex. Question number 14. Can water fasting cure, insert random medical condition here? Now I do know for a fact that Dr. Fung uses uh, water fasting intermittent and ADF uh, with a lot of his patients that have diabetes and has seen some decent results there. But overall, I can't tell you that water fasting is the end all cure all to all of your problems. That would be a lie. And I tend to only lie on accident. Question number 15, how do you know when it's time to end a fast? You'll know <laughs> uh, that sounds really condescending, but it isn't because when it's time to end a fast, your body starts craving food again, really hard. And it normally happens somewhere around the 30 to 40 day mark. For most people, um, if you haven't ran that long, then maybe you don't have enough fat to fuel your body and then your body will start craving food really hard. This is called true hunger and it comes back when it's needed. So you will literally, you'll know. There, there's no way to not know. Question 16. How often is the correct amount of times I should poop during a fast? I made an entire video specifically talking about pooping and fasting. Uh, so check that video out for sure. But the easiest answer is there is no normal when it comes to how many bowel movements you should have when you're fasting. There is no normal, there's no normal frequency or consistency for the poops you should have when you're water fasting. Question 17, is fasting safe during flu season? I'll answer you very simply. Yes, because it boosts your immune system. It's the same as taking a vitamin C supplement that you're going to do during flu season. There's no reason not to. It can only be beneficial. Question number 18, and one I get asked so often, won't I just gain all the weight back after I end my fast? The answer, maybe. If you haven't changed the habits, the eating habits, the bad habits that created the weight gain initially, then yeah, you'll probably regain the weight. How fast it happens is entirely up to you, how long you fasted and how much you want to shovel down and eat every day. If you change those habits, then the answer is no, you will not regain the weight. In fact, if you have healthy eating habits, you will probably continue to lose weight until you reach a healthy goal. Question 19, why do I get dizzy? when I stand up during a fast. The simple answer here is that your blood pressure is lower when you're fasting. It's because your body doesn't have to work so hard to process food, so your body doesn't have to burn all that extra energy and your blood pressure just naturally lowers. Because of that, when you stand too quickly, there's an offset shift in your blood. That causes the dizziness. 
So stand up slowly and steadily and you'll be fine. Question number 20. Roger, can anyone fast? Anyone can fast. There are just a few things that you need to consider and keep in mind. Children should never try to do an extended fast. Stick to OMAD, no more than 24 hours ever. You don't want to stunt your growth and you've got growth hormones that are processing. Your body's doing a lot of crazy stuff already. So there's no reason to put it under any undue stress. The same thing goes for seniors. Okay, extended fasting it is not a good thing for over 60. That's just what it is. Um, anybody can fast though. Anybody can do intermittent fasting. Anybody can do OMAD. Anybody can do those types. Extended fasting is a little bit uh, more difficult to, to just say yes. So it is, again, on an individual basis. Now, these are my top 20 questions. If you guys have any more, please feel free to throw in the comments and I'll answer them. I check two, three times a day. Uh, if you haven't already, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. It's right over there. And I appreciate it. Thank you all and have a great day.